Forget what you think you know about Las Vegas because Bronco Off-Road in Nevada is redefining what it means to have fun in Sin City. Hey Bronco Nation, I'm Jordan and today we are taking a closer look at Bronco Off-Road in Nevada. Located just 30 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip and McCarran International Airport, Bronco Off Rodeo Nevada sits here at the base of Mount Potosi. It's a great location because you feel remote and in a place that's truly special, but you're close enough to everything you could want. With hundreds of hotel options, great restaurants, cafes, and coffee shops, Las Vegas is a great jumping off point to come experience Bronco Off Rodeo in Nevada. Like I said, it's just a 30 minute drive from the Strip or the airport, so if you're flying in, it's very accessible with tons of hotel options to choose from. Now, one of our favorite hotels is the Red Rocks Resort and Casino. Now, it's off the Strip. It's located right at the base of the Red Rocks and one of the closer, more convenient hotels to the off-rodeo property. Now, it's great because since it is removed from the Strip, it's a place where more of the locals go. So, it has a few more options. Uh, it's a little less touristy and crowded, and the location is fantastic. Now, there are currently promotions between Bronco Off-Rodeo and Red Rocks Resort and Casino, although those incentives and specials may change. So make sure, depending on when you are coming to attend here, you're checking broncooffrodeo.com for the latest incentives and specials. The awesome thing about Bronco Off-Rodeo is that each location features a unique experience different from the previous one. Off-Rodeo Nevada is no exception, with this former camp being transformed into the ultimate Bronco experience. There's hundreds of acres of trails and terrain for you to challenge or improve your off-roading knowledge and a campus-like setup that you won't find at any other location. What I'm standing in right now is the base camp, and what you'll notice, which is different from the other locations, is that this one is entirely open air. With vaulted ceilings and exposed wood beams, this base camp offers 360-degree views of Mount Potosi and the surrounding Red Rocks behind me. These views are offered 365 days a year and are sure to make some incredible pictures either before or after your adventure. This is also where you're going to have your meals. As always, lunch and dinner are included. If you do have dietary restrictions, there is a box on the registration page where you can let the team know uh, so each of your needs will be accommodated. What's also really awesome about this campus setup is there's a standalone mercantile and fire pit. So you can go do some shopping, some retail therapy, either before or after your adventure and pick up some awesome Bronco swag like the t-shirt I'm wearing. Again, situated on an elevation, the whole camp kind of builds up to Mount Potosi, which is situated just right over there. And again, some of the most incredible views you'll find across all our locations. Now I was talking about the mercantile up there at base camp and you can see it's now right behind me. So again with this campus style feel it almost feels like you're in a little bit of a western town. This has a old classic general store vibe but modernized and brought into the 21st century. In the mercantile you're going to find all sorts of Bronco goodies and memorabilia. You're going to find Bronco Nation gear which makes sure you to get you some of that. You're also going to find off-rodeo merchandise and location specific off-rodeo merchandise as well. We also have a whole line of Yeti cups, tumblers, and ramblers. Make sure you pick one of those up as we're going to show you where you can fill those up on the trail to make sure you're reducing your impact on the environment and reducing the use of plastic as well. Now dotted across the property you're going to find these water bottle refill stations. Now these are actually from the original camp that was here before Bronco Off Rodeo but they have since been restored and branded like the one you see here next to me. Now these serve a few purposes. First and foremost to make sure you stay hydrated on the trails. It can get very hot out here like it was today and we want to make sure that everyone has plenty of water to drink as you're going on your adventure. Second of all, as I mentioned down there by the mercantile, Bronco Off Rodeo aims to apply the tread lightly principles as much as possible and reduce the environmental impact. Now this is to help the attendees use the reusable bottles as much as possible and to use plastic disposable bottles as little as possible. Of course, we're trying to reduce the waste and the trash here, and we all know that plastic bottles aren't the best for the environment. So things like this are uh, making it easier and more accessible for everyone to come out here and to reduce the impact on the environment. Now to kick off your adventures on the trails, you're first gonna start here at the Sluice box. There's this awesome Velocity Blue Base Squatch Bronco featured right behind me. And here you're gonna talk with your trail guides, meet your group members, and make sure you are on the right track to have an awesome, safe, and fun day on the trails. After this, you're gonna head over to the ORX course. Uh, and to talk more about that, we're gonna head over there too. We are now standing here at the beginning of the ORX course. This first phase is what the OR team is calling orientation. This is kind of like ground school for an airplane. You're gonna get acquainted with your vehicle. You're gonna learn driving position, vehicle spatial awareness, and then you're gonna get into the technology that comes in the Bronco. So for example, you're gonna learn your off-road switch pack with the push button controls, famous features like the stabilizer bar disconnect, the front and rear locking differentials, trail turn assist, and so much more. 
it's technology like this that's going to help you once you actually get out on the trails and get acquainted with the vehicle and do some off-roading for yourself. So this is a great place to get a base layer, a foundation of education as you move on through the ORX course and then onto the trails themselves. Now, in addition to the private trails built just for Bronco that we're going to talk about here in a minute, the ORX course has been custom built and designed by off-roading experts like Bob Burns and Lauren Healy. As I mentioned up there in the orientation phase, this ORX course is going to take you through a variety of situations that'll put the GOAT modes, the vehicle, and the off-road technology to the test. For example, you see behind me Hill Descent. This is going to teach you tips like how to survey the hill and what technology you might want to implement to ensure you're going down that hill safely and in control. You're going to learn things like water fording and rock crawling, all things that you may encounter not only on the trails here, but when you go out in Bronco Adventures of your Varium. So again, this is a great place to learn, to absorb lots of information, uh, stuff that you can pull from later when you're out on an experience or an adventure of your very own. Now we've had a lot of questions about, can I bring my own Bronco? And while you're certainly welcome to drive your Bronco to the off-rodeo experience, all the vehicles that you will be learning in and taking on the trails will be provided on property. So while we would love to see your Gen 1, Gen 2, or Gen 6 Bronco that you may have taken delivery of, unfortunately, uh, you're not able to drive those on the trails. And you probably wouldn't want to, because in case you get in a hairy situation out there, we want to make sure that your Bronco, whatever generation, remains pristine. But all the vehicles are ready on site. The vehicle prep team does an amazing job of keeping these clean and functional, so you don't have to worry about breaking down whatsoever, which is a nice peace of mind to have. Additionally, you're like, hey, Jordan, I haven't taken delivery of my Bronco yet, and we know tens of thousands of you are still waiting to take uh, delivery of your Broncos, but don't worry, while you can't, might not have your own just yet, you can still come experience them here at Off Rodeo. As long as you have a verifiable order number, you can go to broncooffrodeo.com today, reserve and register to come to any experience at all four locations across the country. These locations are all open as of August 16th, so make sure you go and check dates on there so you can sign up and reserve your spot. So again, as long as you have a verifiable order number, you don't have to have a Bronco sitting in your driveway, although we wish you did, uh, but you can come out and experience and enjoy the off-rodeo. Now the piece de la resistance here at Bronco Off-Rodeo is going to be your trail rides. Now this is gonna take place over the course of four or five hours with your trail guides and your group, and this promises to be an incredible time. Now the terrain here in Nevada is some of the most gnarly and technical of all the off-rodeo locations, so if you're a bit more experienced out there, make sure to select this location. However, if you're inexperienced or have never been an off-roading vehicle, don't worry because the trail guides are here to help you. They are going to bring you through the trail safely and equip you with all the tools and knowledge you need to make sure that you are safe, the vehicle is safe, and the trails remain protected as well. So whether you're just starting out or if you've been off-roading for years, you are going to have one heck of a time on these trails behind me. As I mentioned earlier, they are all private just for Bronco and have been designed with the vehicle in mind by off-roading experts like Bob Burns and Lauren Healy. There are hundreds of acres of trails uh, and terrain to explore and the trails a group might take one day might not be the same exact path that the group the next day takes, which is really cool and it makes each experience here at Off Rodeo unique. Now, after spending all day with your group uh, that you're gonna be exploring off-rodeo in together, we hope you have gotten to know them and become friends with them. And we would love for you to build a little bit more community after your day by sitting around the campfire. Now, each off-rodeo location has really cool campfires, and this one is no different with gorgeous views of Mount Potosi to my right and the Red Rocks to my left. This is a great place to come after a long day and just relax uh, and hang out. Now, it is a little toasty here in the summer. It's still 86 degrees at 6 p.m. So your fire may not be your vibe in the summertime, but there are certainly times of year where it gets chilly up here and it's gonna be a great place to come hang out, relax, and to swap stories from the trails. Well, as always, thanks so much for joining us here on this tour of Bronco off Road in Nevada. We hope you think it's as incredible as we do. The views behind me certainly are a testament to that. If you haven't already registered, make sure you go to broncooffrodeo.com right now to register and reserve your spot at one of the four incredible locations. By the time this video is out, all the locations will be open, so make sure you lock in your spot today. As I mentioned before, you do not have to have taken delivery of your Bronco to uh, come here to off rodeo. All you have to have is a verifiable order number, whether it is a full size Bronco or a Bronco Sport Badlands and First Edition. Although the Bronco Sport experience is only available at the off rodeo Texas location, so keep that in mind. Really hope you enjoyed a little bit of what you saw today. If you're not already, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below. 
leave us a like. And if you have any questions about Bronco off Rodeo, the experience at this location or the program in general, leave a comment down below and we will do our best to answer them. Make sure you're following us on all of our social media platforms. Uh, interact with us there, send us DMs, questions, and we will do our best to respond to those as well. And until next time, we'll see you on the roads. Bye.